Hails and welcome to Rautas News, or more like a reminder of sorts. It's 5th of November, so I'm technically filming this uh, episode on roughly midday. It's almost 1, 1, 1 p.m. And um, I'm just going to remind you a couple of things. Basically, giving you a little bit of news, what's going on with Rauta stuff and things related to Rauta and what things are about to change. Mind you, it's nothing too drastic, just to give you a little bit of a heads up. So this is kind of a filler video in terms of like why there is no opinion video about this and that and all that stuff and I'll explain why. First of all it's been a very very busy times lately. Uh, that means both my work, day job as well as you know doing a lot of stuff. So it's not like we've been idling and by we I mean me and my camera crew of course uh, who I had a good time at Steel Chaos and all that stuff. Mind you, it was a good festival and definitely recommending to people who are considering like whether or not they should expand their uh, experience of Steelfest and all that to Steel Chaos. Quite a different lineup, more on the heavy metal side and, uh, and also death metal, not just black metal, which is basically the main thing with Steelfest. But anyway, disappointment was that we only got to nail one interview. There are plenty of reasons that and I don't think anybody wants to hear more than that, but only one review, uh, sorry, interview coming out from that fest. And today I'm heading for Nordic Metal Cruise. So by the time you're seeing this video, I'm probably packing my stuff and getting ready for that. And uh, only one interview has been agreed to do on that. I'll try still until the very last minute to do another one. But since I won't promise anything, I've learned my lesson throughout those. Why there is no Goat Moon interview still ha happening? Because sometimes artists change their minds and all that stuff. Anyway. Uh, that is not exactly the main news of the story, just explaining what's going on. There are not too many interviews in the pipeline as it is. Uh, next weekend uh, we will have um, a Massacre and then Yotheria, so Black Metal Legends and uh, Death Metal Legends. I mean, Massacre being the Death Metal one and Yotheria, uh, Black Metal one. And after that we are almost done here. Like there is this one uh, Steel Cage interview coming up and... Uh, then probably something from Nordic Metal Cruise. Also, Emwa is playing a mini tour in Finland with Ulcerate and Sisyphean. I hope I can do one or two interviews, but Emwa is not likely to happen because they have previously politely declined. That's just not something they do, that is video interviews. So this is a little bit of a recap of what's going on and it seems like we're getting uh, fewer uh, interviews towards the end of the year as I was hoping for. But it's always given, I mean, when the summer festivals are pretty much done, things kind of go in decline in terms of interviews. Which means uh, there will be more review videos later on and less interviews. But probably by the end of the year we're done with the interviews this year. But fingers crossed, I'm doing my best for the things to happen. That also brings me to another news, which is I'm relocating for a few months. Um, beyond the borders of Finland. That is, I'm going overseas to live, at least that's the plan, for a few months. Which means my address for review CDs and vinyl and whatever is going to change by the end of the year. So in case you're sending me something, I hope that you will contact me before that. So I hope you will see this video or otherwise figure it out that I actually, Rauda is actually uh, literally moving house temporarily. I'm getting back here in Finland next year so it's not just more than a few months but that means during this time i'm not bringing my cds of course to this other place i will give the new address when the time is right that is closer to the end of year and that should not too much affect the reviews i'm doing so people who are waiting for their bands or whatever labels send cds or vinyl here not exactly vinyl i don't have anything of them in the pipeline but those who are waiting for the review should be getting them as pretty much usual. But there might be a little bit less unboxing because I'm not taking these CDs overseas for kind of obvious reasons. Still, reviews should be happening rather usual ways. Just a little bit less unboxing while I am staying away from my home with this new location. And what will it be? I will reveal it later on and start doing videos right there with my normal camera sitting and all that stuff. Just taking a laptop and other things needed. Now, apart from these two basic news, like what's going on in terms of interviews and uh, 
what's happening me relocating uh, moving house temporarily there are a couple of things which i want to address first of all i decided to bring back raw to beyond my secondary youtube channel after uh, i don't know maybe 18 months of hiatus uh back to business that means things which are not related to metal or even music so much are brought into Raw the Beyond channel. That means I'm doing my gaming streams, including talks related to metal while gaming, especially if there are people asking me stuff. So consider them like extra streams, so to speak. Uh, also, I will be doing movie and TV show reviews, probably gaming reviews when once I get that far, and other topics, including my workup videos, which I have promised quite a long time to bring them back. I kind of wanted to separate them from Rauda because there's so many reviews and I really can't justify postponing a lot of reviews because I want to do some workout videos for a little bit of people who are not that much, I mean, <laughs> who are not uh, just keen to so many reviews and all that stuff. But a lot of people come to see Rauda for its metal related contents, interviews mostly, reviews and opinion means secondarily. So I will be putting that non-metal content, non-musical content on Raw the Beyond channel. That's not too much activity, so don't be afraid of like daily videos or, or all that stuff. More like weekly videos, one or two probably, roughly, give or take, depending how much I have time to stream and how many movies or TV shows I get to watch. So there's always something constantly happening. I watch uh, TV shows like on almost daily basis. And I try to watch a movie once a week or so. And I like to talk about them. I like to keep those videos shorter than my typical music review ones. So it shouldn't take too much time. But then again, I also understand if my opinions or rants or whatever about movies, TV shows, games, workouts, whatever, doesn't interest you. No offense taken, of course. But in case you want to know the world beyond metal related to Rauda, related to me, well, that's the channel to go. Rauda Beyond. You will find the link provided in the description box, as always. And uh, on top of that, Rauda Podcast, which some people hoped for, has been out for a few weeks now. We actually recorded uh, episode number six a couple of days ago, which I will start editing right after doing this video, and it should be out this weekend also. So that is also another weekly project, me and my co-host, Tuka from Archgoat are doing. We pick a topic, talk about it, and then we also make an album pick of the week, which we also discuss and review, dissecting it a little bit and all that stuff. So always like two topics, at least for the time being. Who knows if we, in the future we will have guests for interviews and whatnot, but can't promise anything on that sector. It depends how how the podcast you know, develops in the coming weeks or months. But that is something that mostly takes these opinion talks here on Rauda to the podcast format. So no, not so much need to watch a video to hear talking heads doing this kind of stuff, but you can just pretty much listen on podcast. And that is available at least on Spotify, Anchor and Rauda's Patreon. Um, I am in process of checking out how to add those podcasts for free to other platforms, but um, so far there has been some like payment required and to be honest i'm not ready to put my money on the content when it's just you know more expenses for me on top of time consuming so while you people are like yeah why don't you put it on this and that platform it's just like basically asking me to give the money in order to do that spotify is free patreon is free for me anyway so i like to do it there and Patreon is, of course, more content for those who actually support Rauta in, in, with money and all in order to make more content on the actual channel here uh, with interviews and all that stuff. So I kind of want to reward them and first and foremost. And Spotify is just easy because, well, there are tools for that. Begin the biggest platform and all. So it's not about so much making money. It's more about cutting expenses. As you might know, inflation and... Uh, Prices going up and all that stuff is crazy with the war and everything here in Europe. So it's not like I want to look for more expenses, especially as I'm giving you more content. I'm not asking for your money directly, but I try to make you understand that I'm not ready to put more my money so that you can have more content. I hope this makes more sense to you. If that makes me look like a greedy bastard because you're a cheap ass bastard, well, 
that's it is how it is. Jokes aside, um, if you are into listening to the podcast, you will find it on Spotify and Patreon and whatever. And uh, you can always uh, give us feedback via these videos, via Rauda's Facebook page, via Instagram, or Rauda's Discord server. So there are plenty of ways to give feedback and also ideas in which way to direct Rauda podcast. I'll try to give it in less than 60 minutes, but more than 30 minutes. So there's at least some content and not just some 10 minutes of quick, fast, whatever. And uh, this is pretty much how to recap the whole ideas. Relocating and the interviews in the pipeline, um, rather be on channel and rather podcast. If I forgot something, I hope to get back to it later on. And what can you expect from the last two months of Rauda in general? Well, on top of the usual stuff that is interviews and reviews and uh, opinion videos and rather podcasts, which is quite a lot, I am aiming for the best of list. But there's a one big but I need to address. Because I have been listening to a lot of your 2021 releases past few months, I am most certainly to miss have some of the best 2022 runs. Why so? Because I'm trying to work my backlog with the review album so that the ones that have been waiting for their own reviews, that is bands and labels, I've tried to do, to, you know, clean my table, so to speak, by the time it's year 2023. So I'm lagging quite a bit behind because I had to do some uh, rearrangements with the review albums and such, which means that some albums uh, had to wait a little bit longer while some albums were more in time. And now I, I figured the system, which is as good as possible. There's no perfect system, me getting so many review albums all the time. So I, I can only ask for your patience, but yeah, it is what it is. So many albums, so little time because I don't want to make like three videos a day wouldn't really reward anybody. So uh, this is the best I can do, and I hope that it's good for enough for you. If it's not, well, too bad. I ain't perfect, nobody's perfect, and there's never enough time to do all that needs to be done. Uh, once again, should you have any comments, opinions, uh, questions, or just basic feedback, feel free to drop a comment below, and I will get back to you. And also, I would definitely like to see a lot more of you people on Rauda's Discord server. You will find also the link provided in the description box for daily talks, more links, and all the other content. Plus, it's the best feedback channel towards me from you, dear audience. Now, I think this pretty much summed up. This is already way longer video than I ex expected it to be. So, me, time to shut the beep up and uh, go to do my uh, podcast editing. By the time, you're probably watching this. I am having beers at Nordic Metal Cruise, and I hope to make at least a video or two for you people from there and do a little bit of Marty Metal content on the Instagram, maybe Facebook side. So let's keep you entertained. Let's keep you metal. And I wish you all a good weekend. See you tomorrow with more Indie 5 uh, reviews and next week, normal reviews and more interviews as well. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,